everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely install Optifine in MultiMC. Okay, now guys, I'm going to go through all the steps in detail. All right, maybe more detail than uh, every person that's watching needs, but it will be of use to some people. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'll go through as quickly as I can, but I'm going to be detailed. So, you need to get Optifine from Optifine.net. Only get it from there, guys. That is the official site. That is the place you get it. So, I'll leave a link in the description. But go to the Downloads tab here, and you will see that the newest version of Optifine is listed on the page. All right. If you need that, just hit the Download button. If you need other versions, then choose Show All Versions, and you can see the various versions that are available for different versions of Minecraft including preview versions which are versions that are being worked on and aren't officially released yet all right so newer versions beyond that will be in a preview window all right but choose the version of minecraft that you need and then choose the download button now be aware if you do not have ad blockers then things are a little bit different so if you hit download here you will have a big ad in this window. In this white blank space, you will have an ad. There may be crazy stuff like things that pop up and say, do you want to share your location? There may be pop-up windows, all this kind of stuff. Ignore every bit of that, guys, and hit the skip button. But you're better off to have ad blockers. Adblock Plus, uh, Ublock Origin, those types of things, all right? But what you want to do regardless is hit the skip button. There may, may also be a button up here that says something about servers or something like that. But you want to hit the skip button and then you're taken to the download page where you can download it. All right. Right here at the download page. Now, because Optifine offers the option, I'm also going to mention that if you don't have ad blockers or you don't want to deal with ad blocks or anything like that, you can hit the mirror link. But be aware that these guys are supported by ad revenue that's the only way that they keep going and they update for every version and have for years and years and years so they earn our money all right so hit mirror and it will take you to that download page now you can download optifine to your disk all right now i have a browser extension called virus total for browsers vt for browsers i recommend that you can use that but if you hit okay there it will allow you to go to a virus total report. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes to show you that it is a completely clean file. All right, there's no problems with it. But Chrome will give you this warning. Chrome will say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Optifine 1.6.4.8c? Sure. Now it's not talking about this particular file. The warning is not. This is a generic warning that is talking about Java jars the type of file it'll also do it with windows exe files which are executables and app files as well it'll it'll do it with various types of files that can have problems with them and java jar is one of them you're getting it from the official site we've checked the virus total report everything's good so say keep and it will download to your disk okay so that's how to safely get optifine now we're going to add it to multi mc so in your main multi mc window choose the add instance button if you're creating a new instance if you have a mod pack you could skip this step but then select the version of my minecraft that corresponds to the version of optifine that you download they cannot be different versions if you download optifine for 116.4 then your mod pack or this instance has to be 1.16.4 okay so hit okay name it you can name it whatever you want and whatever up here so hit OK. Now we need to install Forge. We're going to run uh, Optifine as a Forge mod. Now the, you can also do it as Fabric, but you need a separate type of piece of software with it. You also can run it with no launcher at all or no mod loader at all. Uh, and I suppose I could do videos on that. I already have some older videos on the channel about how to do that. But we're going to run it as a Forge mod. That's the easiest way to do it. And generally the most common all right so we're going to say install forge and when that window pops up it's going to give us the option to select a version of forge generally unless you have a reason not to uh, go with the recommended version 
The newest version may have other features, but it may be less stable as well. Older versions may be required for certain mod packs or whatever. All right, so just be aware of that. Then OK, and then Forge is ready to be installed. Now we can add Optifine as a mod. All right, in MultiMC terms, that is a loader mod. So hit the loader mods tab here. You can use the add button, browse to your downloads, and select Optifine, and then open. All right, that'll add it to it. Another option is you could go out to your downloads and you can drag it into the window here. All right. Now, if you had a, another mod pack already, you would see all your list of mods here. If you had a bunch of them and you wanted to be sure Optifine was added, you could filter by Optifine here and it would show it on the list. Okay. Now, you can also choose view folder here, which will open the folder where all the mods would be. So this is Optifine in the mods folder now. If you had a whole bunch of other mods in your mod pack, they would be in there too. And you could see Optifine in there. So if you want to delete it, you can delete it this way by Windows Standard Operations, or you could choose it here and choose Remove. If you want to just test with uh, out running Optifine, then you can click the uh, button there, which will disable it temporarily. But when you get launch, now you will launch and Forge will install if ha if it hasn't previously uh and you'll see like the forge indicators of the memory heap and all that kind of stuff on the window uh, that's letting you know forge is at work uh when you open up you'll see that you have your forge version and all that if you go to options and you choose video settings you should see optifine and the version that you installed here and a number of new settings that you can do. So that successfully installs Optifine in MultiMC uh, and like I said, gives you a lot of information uh, on how to do it safely and without worries. So guys, if that helped you in any way, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more MultiMC tutorials. This is Scott Omato. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I do so much appreciate it. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.